Here, on the lateral side of the organism, you can see the supraspinatus. If you go towards the caudal portion of the forelimb, you'll see the dorsal epitrochlealis. Here is the long head of the triceps. This is the lateral head of the triceps. And right here, towards the cranial portion of the organism, upon opening up and reflecting the medial head of the triceps, you will see the brachialis. Lower on the organism, more distal on the organism, you can see the anconius. On the forelimb, there are many muscles here, so be sure to remove the fattened fascia for a better view. On the most cranial portion of the forelimb, you will see the brachioradialis. The next muscle layer after that is the extensor carpi radialis longus. After that, is the extensor digitorum communis. Towards the more caudal portion of that, you will see the extensor digitorum lateralis. Caudal to that is the extensor carpi ulnaris. Between these two muscle layers, is another muscle it is the flexor digitorum profundus at the most caudal portion of the forelimb you will see the flexor carpi ulnaris let me flip this out that's why you're doing this. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of copy. On the medial side of the forelimb, you will see the brachial radialis as we saw before. Caudal to that on the limb, remember that this edge is more caudal, this is cranial, because we have flipped it to see the medial edge. This muscle is actually a pair. You will see that when you remove the fattened fascia from the uppermost portion. The more cranial part is the extensor carpi radialis longus, and caudal to that is the extender carpi radialis brevis. Caudal to those muscles, you will see the flexor digitorum profundus. Dorsal to that, you will see a muscle right here. That muscle is the pronator teres. Dorsal to that, you will see your biceps brachii. Here is your triceps head. And this is the triceps medial head. This muscle band here more caudal than the flexor digitorum profundus is the flexor carpi radialis. Caudal to that 
is a flexor digitorum profundus. And finally, caudal to that, you will see the flexor digitorum superficialis. All right, so that should cover the forelimb.